obvious difference in the swing movements of elite hitters versus everyone else. This is not new. The best hitters have used these mechanics for the last 100 years. Fact is, traditional coaching will never produce elite level swing mechanics. Swing down, foot down early, eliminate movement, stay inside, squish the bug. These are not good coaching points. They are very simple, vague terms that can mean something different to everyone. No truly elite hitters actually do any of these things. Elite hitters are not freaks. They come in all shapes and sizes. Forget everything you've ever been taught about how to hit. We need to focus on how bat speed is created, the muscles involved, and the path of the bat. Some hitters, even in the major leagues, will push the bat with their chest. Others pull the bat with their shoulders. These players are using the wrong forces to create bat speed. Hard work will not save you. To become great at anything, you have to study those who are the best at what they do. Alex Rodriguez does not actually swing down. In fact, zero elite hitters actually swing down. This bat pass slices through the plane of the pitch. This anatomically limits your ability to make square contact with the baseball. This is only one of many examples of traditional coaching being dead wrong about how to actually hit a baseball. To consistently make square contact with the baseball, the barrel must travel behind and then through the plane of the pitch, regardless of whether you want to hit line drives or home runs. Don't take my word for it. Ted Williams stated this in his book, The Science of Hitting, published in 1971. The back shoulder and bat should match the plane of the pitch. Low pitch, low back shoulder. High pitch, high back shoulder. A baseball bat is much heavier on one side than the other. We want to use the weight of the barrel to our advantage. Most hitters will try to push or pull the barrel through the hitting zone. This is very inefficient. Elite hitters rotate the bat around their hands. In doing so, momentum is created. This creates a mechanical advantage. If your swing does not have some element of this, you are at a mechanical disadvantage. Look for the barrel to tip forward. This is a loading action for the hands to twist the bat. A scout's thoughts on Anthony Rendon. If you ever wanted a visual example of how to whip the barrel, I give you Exhibit A. Rendon is a great example of early bat speed. He gives his barrel an earlier start than most hitters, which allows him to build up bat speed before he launches his swing. Because of this ability to accelerate the barrel so quickly, Rendon is able to wait longer than most hitters before he has to commit to the pitch. While some players are unable to reach max velocity with the head of their bat until well after contact. Rendon's early bat speed means his barrel will be up to speed quicker and more efficiently. He has more usable bat speed than most players. And here's an example of Anthony Rendon. Tipping the barrel forward, pulling the elbow back, and turning the barrel around his hands. This is the most powerful hitter to ever walk the planet. His name is Dick Allen. Forward, creating a lot of momentum and carry it into that baseball. Tip the bat forward or to first base. This puts the barrel in position for the hands to twist the bat. The initial barrel movement should be going towards the on-deck circle behind you. This is what separates good from great. This movement right here. What's happening is you're creating momentum with the barrel while getting on plane with the pitch. Oh, 